Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Battle Jazz Forest from Seth Productions, and you can also call me Seth Jazz. And here, and back with another tutorial. Yeah, and I know it's been a while since we last met, and I think the previous tutorial was about glow effect, but uh. Yeah, a lot of things have happened. I've upgraded my <laughs> OS to Windows 7 Ultimate, but I'm still stuck on 32 bit, and that's why I'm still I'm stuck at After Effects CS4. Well, it's it's actually it actually not the it uh it, yeah crap like that. So uh, today we're going to make. A ton of effects that we've seen in movies, different various movies like Star Wars, the Thunder Man, or whatever, blah blah blah. blah, blah. Okay, so t today, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, I know the quality sucks. Okay, I get it. The quality sucks, but um, I'm not that real rich to buy uh, to buy DSLR, DSLR camera because we're not that rich. So I've shot the clip from my video video cam, and my video cam video cam is Sony DCR SX44. So uh, it's kind of old, kind of old, but it still works. So decided to give it give it a shot okay without further ado let's proceed to our very first after effects tutorial first open up after effects of course you know, then then go to composition new composition so i'm going to be using 1280 by 720 frame rate for 29 29.97 per second or you can use uh, 59.97 second if if your clip was shot it at 60 frames per second, resolution full, make, make sure that's full. Uh, let's not mess with that. And my duration of 100D, but you can put any duration you want. And with that, yeah, with that settings, it's okay. And then going to uh, import our file, or you, you could just simply hit con hit Control I. Uh, one click open drag this to the composition since so since my clip isn't isn't shot at by 1 to 80 with 720 or just drag the corners and scale it up while dragging press shift so it will remain on its original size while you drag it after that yeah you're basically yeah okay after that after that's done, go to the point where you want the lightning to start appearing or where you want the lightning to start shaking. No, I'm just kidding. So mine will probably uh there. After that go to layer. It's layer um, and go to edit. Okay. Oh I'm sorry. Make sure the there is a select selected go to edit cut oh I'm sorry <laughs> go to edit I forgot there's split the layer and then just go here and then go to effect uh generate advance mm -hmm. advanced lightning so basically what you'll get is this so since since the video to watch I've used a violet color just to be just for fun but this time I'm going to red because I'm awesome like that. So go to course settings, press press that to uh appear more settings. Uh and we don't really wanna mess with that, so I'm sorry. Let's turn it off. Then go to uh, go to close settings, press that to 
no, we'll go, the more settings will appear and then go to glow, glow color, then select whatever you want. So I'm going to select a red one, because red is cool. Then I'm just going to, uh, uh, decrease the radius, uh, send it around, yeah, 40.5 if you want to, uh, you know, the capacity, no, I'm just gonna stay, stay at 50, okay, then you want to go, so there's different, different types of lightning type but uh I wanna make sure strike is check and not, not direction and then go to uh, composite composite and original so it will appear on your composition then you just wanna start dragging that here and the other there alright so what do you what you want to do now is once you've done that if you've done that make hit the keyframe on both of the origin and the direction so yeah keep moving frame by frame and then moving move this lightning like that and by keyframe again uh, not keyframe what frame I mean frame the next frame yeah next frame next couple of few frames uh, hit the hit the keyframe for the conductivity state and increase so you get random random effects next frame again City. You can make a crazy effect. Okay, next frame. Okay, next frame again. Oops. This might take long, so I'm just going to speed up. So it it took it took too long. So after that, you'll get something like this. A nice motion, a lightning tracking, blah blah blah. Yeah. Okay. So after that, we're going to select the top layer, hold shift, and then select the second la second layer. And then go to um, where is it? Go to layer, then Control Shift C or so go to layer. Click pre pre com pre and then Control sh or you can just use Control Shift C. So I'm just gonna rename this one thing. Hit OK. After that, we're going to a uh, magic bullet misfire. If you haven't had this far, in the next tutorial I'll show you how to get one. Okay, after we put some um, misfire, we need to go in magic bullet mojo. And we're just going to mojo this up to make it look. Actually, this already look, looks pretty good, but uh, you wanna increase the mojo a little bit to get that mojo tint. Mojo balance. One it punch it. So basically you get this it's nice effect. Alright, so basically you get that kind of um, effect. So yeah. So 
we, we get this nice timer effect so uh, yeah that's it thanks for watching be sure to, be sure to subscribe for our updates and next tutorials and hey watch out for Seth Raz for Seth Raz's tutorials he'll, he'll start making tutorial this March 2013 <coughs> and it will be oh sorry that's my grand that's my grandpa again coffee so and it will be an awesome tutorial this is much more of an expert than me in Photoshop so thanks for watching have an awesome day and stay cool so please subscribe and hit the like button it really help us it's inspired it helps us it, it really helps us and inspire inspires us to make more videos okay thanks for watching guys be sure to like comment favorite subscribe and thank you